Hi, welcome to the campus of West Coast Baptist College. My name is Abby and I work on the admissions team here. We're really excited to meet you in person, but until that day, let me go ahead and talk to you a little bit more about our campus. The building right behind me is the West Wing, and it's the main entrance to our worship center, the main auditorium. This is the first place most people see when they drive onto our campus. This addition was built just a few short years ago and houses our church nurseries as well as classrooms used for our college and also church connection groups. We'll talk more about the main auditorium in just a minute, but before then, let's head around the corner to the North Auditorium. Currently, I'm standing in front of the North Auditorium and this is where it all happened on this campus. This was the first building that was constructed and was used as the main auditorium for many years until the church members outgrew it. It was then used for the Spanish ministry who then shortly outgrew it after that. Now it's home to one of our larger classrooms and many of our nursery facilities. The second floor is home to many of our college faculty and staff. After classes, this is where you can come to connect with your instructors and ask any questions that you might have. Now let's get back to the main auditorium. At the heart of West Coast Baptist College is the ministry of Lancaster Baptist Church. And through that, we're able to not only train for our future ministry opportunities, but be a part of the present work that God is doing here at Lancaster Baptist Church. Now, if you head through the back doors and across the courtyard, you'll get to our next location, the Revels Building. Okay, so this is the Revels Building, right in the center of our campus. This building is the hub of our academic programs, as well as many of our church connection groups. The third floor houses many of our traditional sized classrooms, as well as a design studio, a home economics lab, and a science lab. While the second floor houses more traditional sized classrooms, as well as six private piano practice rooms, a piano lab filled with many electronic pianos, and a computer lab used for computer classes and also personal student use. Like many of our other buildings, the first floor is buzzing with activities. From three of our larger classrooms, general seating, the bookstore, and coffee shop, there's a lot to do. After classes, you can hang out here to study, date, or just hang out with some friends. Right behind this building is our next building, the Welcome Center. This building right behind me is the Welcome Center, and this is actually where I do most of my work. When guests come to visit, this is where we come to greet them. And if you've ever been in contact with an admissions guide or anyone else from the admissions office, this is where it all happens. While not all of the dorms look the same, many of the rooms look just like the one in this dorm. Many of the dorms are named after great Christians who've made a great impact on this ministry and current and former students. Every dorm has kitchen and laundry facilities, while every ladies' room has their own private bathroom. From getting to know your roommates to gathering for dorm devotions and other activities, this is where many of your friendships and lifelong memories are gonna be made. Currently, I'm standing in the Walter Center lobby, which is just through the courtyard and right around the corner from where we first were. This building is the newest addition to our campus and has already been used for a variety of different activities and events. Right above me is our newest addition to the building, the library. Now the library works to provide different resources such as online resources and traditional resources. It's equipped with two collaboration rooms which is used by both students and staff members routinely to work on group projects and meet in smaller groups. Right behind me is the gym, which is now where the Spanish ministry meets weekly for their services. Outside of service times, it serves the purpose as our main gym for our intercollegiate volleyball and basketball games. The energy and excitement is high, and this is a really fun time for our students to come and cheer on our fellow Eagles. From the hangar to the ball field, and from the putt-putt course to the dining hall, there's so much more to see and experience. But we do hope that you've enjoyed this short glimpse into our campus, and we can't wait for you to come and experience it for yourself soon.